Hey uh, fellow Vipers around the world, it's uh, Joe the Village Viper here and got a good surprise for you today, it's uh, Caliburn G Pod Kit by UL. So, oh, this came with the box, I don't really like showing, simply great, you can see the G stands for and it's not far wrong. And of course you have your big horrible contains nicotine sign and a bit of media advertising there. Your stats there if you want to pause them. And a few, you know, don't vape if you got a big belly and uh, no vaping in a dustbin. And you have to be 21, etc. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. And we'll move on to the important bit. So, yeah, it's the Caliburn G. I've been playing this is like my new toy for the last couple of weeks. And a big thanks to Milan from Vipe for sending it to me to see what I think of it for review. So, I'll open it up. Nice box from you, well. You get a user manual, you get a little silica gel pack, keep everything dry. And then, most importantly, you get the Caliburn, which, oh, I tell you what, it's a, isn't half a sleek, sexy looking little mod, it really is, you know. I just see it there in the light a bit, you know, get focused. Yeah, it's lovely, it's a 6,900 6, mile internal battery, it's auto draw and fire button activated you get a spare box here which we got a one spare 0.18 coil and also wait for it drum roll USB C yeah and I can tell you from experience from flat to fully charged takes 45 minutes approximately. So, you going to tip the box out, have a look. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I love the blue colour, you know. I love this little uh, gold ring just at the, you know, the edge of the button there. And these ridges that go around it, you know, it's really nice. You have your air hole here. It's a two-way, two-way air, yeah. You have a tighter and a slighter loosely wall. It is still, no matter which way you go, you can see Caliburn here. Whatever way you go, it's true mouth to lung all the way with this little one, you know. And uh, some serious flavours we'll see soon. And uh, yeah, that's, you know... Like I said, yeah, six six thousand nine hundred more, and you get a full day out of this. If you're a really heavy smoker, you mightn't make it. I don't know, but if you're fifteen to twenty a day, you will. Now here's your pod. This one's full, as you can see, and uh, I actually bought. Uh, put that down for a minute. I've got an extra pod as well, so uh, this one's empty, I'll show you how the top goes on, so it just clicks on, the top of the pod clicks on, and clicks into, it's all click really, you know, click, click and fix, it's all friction fix, you know, click it into place, no movement or that, nice and you see, it's a it's a very light, you know, looking thing, but there is actually there's 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 a good bit of weight to it, and that you know, it's a it's a solid little pod mod, and we'll click that out again, and then to get your mouthpiece off, which is actually really nice and comfortable to use, you just kind of grab the it's a bit awkward, but you grab the top like so and snap it off. And then you have your fill port here as a little silicone silicone membrane. 
and to put your coil in by the way i fully primed this coil which basically means i'll show you to any newbies out there to prime your coil this is a bit of nasty juice i've been using on it from vape as well uh, nasty salts 20 milligram bronze tobacco you just basically you see where your exposed cotton is you put a few drips i'm not going to do it because i've done it already but put a few drips of liquid on and then put a drop a drop down your main chamber as well you know so like i said this is fully primed and has been used but i'm just doing this for a uh, you know instructional kind of uh for uh to show you and to fit your pod in you just push it in oh be the right way joe yeah that helps you push it in you line it up you line up your square part with the square part on the pod here so have a square there see line it up with the square on the pod and just simply press it in and just give it a little little bit of liquid there give it a little wipe off and fill it turn it around like i said we're going to be using some of this uh nasty nasty juice nasty salts you've got this little red membrane here you just stick stick your nozzle in there just squeeze squeeze and as you can see full no fuss no mess just squeeze you know no mess there at all so I put that back on Click it back on. It's a nice satisfying snap. Do you hear that? Do it again. Kind of. I, it's it's hard to show because you have to get a grip of it right. You get one edge on the corner and then it snap. You hear it snap in the place. You can see that. So let's stick her in. Just get a bit of spilt a bit of liquid on my fingers. Always pays to have a, a tissue nearby when you're vaping or when you, you know, when you're priming coils or, and this actually the, you see your air hole here, pull it out again. It's two way airflow. So you have, you have an airflow here on this side which is the larger one and then you have the smaller airflow port the other side so i'm gonna go with the smaller because i prefer the tighter draw on the mouth to lung and don't forget as well this is draw auto draw there's a sensor in it there's also plenty of uh, safety with this it cuts off if there's a short it um oh yeah five clicks on five clicks off one two three four five that's off so you can put it in your your handbag purse pocket anywhere you want without fear of it you know you're never gonna fire it five times so yeah very pocket friendly you can see the way it fits in my hand nicely and uh to back on one, two, three, four, five. That's it. And I listen to that. Ah, that's what you call quick fire. Straight away. Oh, and the LED light is green. When it's when it's green, it means the battery is 60% to 100% full. When it's red... Or sorry, when it's blue, it means it's 30 to 60% full. And when it's red, you want to kind of think about charging it because then it's only 0 to 30% full. But um, it won't let the battery go completely flat. It will automatically shut off. And if your battery is really flat, it will flash... 10 times red so then you have to charge it and like i said 
you've only got 45 minutes to wait before you can enjoy a good old toot, you know. So anyway, going to go on, go on up, up top, have a vape and tell you what I think. So, hey vape, so anyway, I have the blue one, but don't forget... I think there's five other different colours. I'm not I'm not sure offhand what they are, but there are five other different colours you can get. And this is fully charged. I've I'm gonna use it on auto draw. Um let you know what well I know what I think already, but it's just lovely, you know. Mmm. See that for vapor production, 690 mar, and the flavor, oh, you can really taste the uh, the caramel and the uh, tobacco, you know, the throat hit, and uh, it's, it, the draw is exactly like smoking a cigarette, so this is the perfect device, I don't care what anyone says for, for giving up smoking, you know, uh, 20 milligram salt nick or 18 milligram free base however you want you've all the flavors you want if you're uh if you like sweeties you've sweeties if you like fruit juice you've fruit juice me myself i like sweet tobaccos and i like custards and cake vapes you know sweet vapes but uh take another pull and listen, uh, Aaron, just listen to this. That's how quick she fires. Huh. Mm. Yeah, like I, like I said, I didn't show you the little, uh, yeah. Comes with type C charging. So charged up 40, 40, 45 minutes, no bother, from flat to dead. From 10 flashes, I've plugged it in, and the, once it just stops flashing, stays on green, it's ready. Also, once it starts flashing uh, blue, when, when it's on green, you're fully charged, you're 60 to 100%. When it's on blue, you're on 30 to 60%. When you're on red, that's when you want to think about charging. You're only on dead to 0% to 30%. And when it starts flashing, it's going to cut off on you anyway. It won't let the, the, the battery die, you know. So it's a good uh, good safety chip in it. It's all, all cut off and that all the safety specs are on it, you know. I love this little button as well. So I've been, I'll do a few drags with the button, yeah? Button fire. Oh yeah, it's really good. Mm, very nice. As you can see, it's good glowing green, it's nice and charged and it's Popping flavour, the coils, I've had it a couple of weeks, uh, a cut, and I'm a heavy vapor, a coil is lasting me a week, no problem, maybe a, an extra bit of a charge a day, you know, I'd even recommend a really heavy smoke, a bugger it, get two devices, because you're going to save tons of pounds in the long run, if you switch to this, then cigarettes, you know, you you're on the right, plus it's 95% harm reduction. I know, I vape for seven years and my chest has never been better, my breathing has never been better, you know, it's uh, it's great and, and it's crazy they're trying to stop it in some countries, but there you go. But I'm gonna have another puff, there's, it's all pros, the only con I have with this, the Caliburn G, is naughty you, well, you didn't send an extra pod, but I got myself one, you know, you can easily get the pods. Plus, there's a one, there's a one ohm coil coming out, 1.0 ohm coming out. This is 0 0.1, 1, 
0.18 sorry ohms there is a one ohm coil you can get I haven't tried it yet but I will be soon and maybe I'll let you know but um yeah the flavor is is it's unbelievable you know for a pod kit mm. And you can see for yourself the vapour production that you're getting a satisfying, it's lovely warm hit, you know, and uh, you know, if you like it a bit looser, you can switch it around and you have a bit of a, a looser draw, you know, and she keeps choking, you know. So that's it, that's all I can say. If I give it a rating, I'd give it 9 out of 10 for the Caliban G, and that's only because you, well, there wasn't an extra coil. Right, see you, Vapors. Thanks, Vapate. Bye bye.